What's up guys, it's another pre-release and there's Colt as per usual and Doc and my dog's walking around somewhere, gonna go watch out the window. Uh, so <laughs> I just got done watching some complete set reviews to try to uh, refresh my mind about what's going on. Uh, my plan is to try and uh, really be mindful of four toughness and five toughness creatures. like. They're both really hard to deal with if I get a bunch, and if I don't have a bunch, then I need to be thinking about how to deal with them, you know, from a removal standpoint. Uh, I stand by my theory that, you know, picking your uh, clan is kind of irrelevant. I mean, it is for the seated pack, but really you're just opening five boosters, and most of them are in the new set, so I feel a little exposed in that, uh, I'm kind of used to having a firmer grasp on like half of the cards, you know, versus like um, just the new ones. Like we're gonna have so many new cards that I think it's gonna be really slow today. Gameplay is gonna be slow. There's gonna be a lot of RTFC going on. <clears throat> um, trying to stay organized with Manifest. I, I, the more and more I think about Manifest, the more I like it. At first I was like, man, that ability. But the more I think about it is like, there's a lot of abilities that, you know, might cost two mana for a manifest and you might end up with, you know, a, big, a bigger creature with possible upside. So I don't know how that's going to play out. I, know, I don't know how the tempo cards are going to play out. Um, in Abzan matchups, I'm going to look to play them. Uh, in Jeskai, if I have any, you know, bounce spells, things like that. But uh, my plan is simply to really build a deck of flyers like it's going to be evasion.deck but it's all gonna depend on what I pull. Uh, I'm gonna just try to force evasion and, uh, and see what happens. So I hope you guys are having fun at your pre-releases uh, if they've started already or um, for me it's 11 o'clock so I've got an hour to kill yet. I'm gonna go play a little claw machine if I can because uh, I'm getting tired just sitting here waiting uh, for midnight. So uh, let me show you what I'm bringing. So uh, I'm bringing like my little dice that I use for counters, I really like these dice. Just the color, like kind of turquoise and orange. True sexy. Then a couple of spin downs just to keep life total and to borrow some out if I need to. Um, I didn't have enough sleeves of the same kind to like pre-sleeve my, pre my lands, but uh, I opened a fat pack on stream a while ago and I just had a land pack sitting there. So I feel like that'll save me some time too. And I'm bringing two deck boxes. Uh, one for my sideboard, one for my deck, and uh, there's the appropriate amount of sleeves in, in both of them. I'm also bringing, you guys are going to get a different view. These are my camera glasses that I use for uh, Clawstruck. So if you haven't checked out my Clawstruck YouTube channel, uh, you should go check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. People seem to really have fun with the videos. Um, I'm going to try to use those to pro provide a more unique experience with, with the uh, pre-release. Um, maybe even get you some gameplay or something. Um, try to get you more footage from during the pre-release versus um, just kind of before and after. That just may be what it is because you know it gets pretty crazy when you get there, but we'll see. And then I bring in this, which is um, a wi wireless box that I can offload the footage from my, from my glasses because they only hold like seven gigabytes, which is like 15 minutes. So. Uh, they, shoot, they shoot decent quality for what they are, but this box will wirelessly connect with them through via Bluetooth and stay there. Colt's laying on my new CD mix. Be listening to some uh, Shaky Graves and um, Oh No Oh My, some stuff like that. And I'm also bringing some uh, MT. I found that I found about 45 extra MTG headquarters playmats. And I'm gonna give some away. If anyone recognizes me or something, I'll I'll see if I you know can get them a play mat or uh, something. I don't know. Um, or maybe maybe some uh, maybe somebody will want to buy them. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm gonna sell. Uh, I think I found like 40, and I'm gonna sell them after the sleeves are supposedly off the boat from the Patreon. So I'm hoping to see them this week sometime. Uh, and I'm not gonna sell any more play mats until everyone who contributed on the on the Indiegogo gets their sleeves. So. As soon as I get all those shipped out, I'll put these up for sale. But uh, for right now, I'm trying to stay focused. I'm going to drink some orange juice, going to hydrate, stop at the gas station, 
get a Red Bull and a granola bar, and uh, we'll just see how I pull. So we'll, t we'll see you in a little while. Oh, I got the I got the the Ouija board guy. Oja Utai. That seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Oh, sweet, just guy banner. Now I'm set. I win. Yeah. Tough break, guys. Wow, this is a pretty powerful pack. Well, that that was pretty saucy. Ooh, arc lightning, nice. Just a charm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not crazy, but it's pretty spicy for a just guy. Herald of Anafenza into foil high sentinels of Astrin. Yeah, and the and the three uncommons were Arc Lightning, Just Guy Elder, and Just Guy Charm. That's spicy. That, that's a keeper too, don't sell that right away. Oh, there's a foil in here. Oh, poop. Oh, nice. Oh, booby. What was the altered Thompson? The Ugin pack. You gotta like do this stuff to get it. Oh, great, I can take an extra turn. Yeah! <laughs> It's like a reward for completing this stuff, which is you'll you can read it. Okay, it's kind of like that. Yeah. It's based on everybody, right? Like Sometimes this one I think is individual. Yeah, like if you do this. Yeah. Okay. I think it's pretty. Whisper of the Wild looks pretty cool art. Oh, I got this guy too. Oh my, Sage Eye Avengers. What, what's this now? Oh my god! Good for you, man. Good for you, Jack! I'm sorry, guys. No, no, dude. That's sealed for you, man. Shoot. I'm happy for you. Yeah, why not? Make Find a foil one. Don't worry, I'll probably just get wrecked. I honestly seem like I do better with more mediocre decks. Yeah. Really, the ancestors. I don't know if that's going to be any good. I haven't heard anybody spaz, but. <sighs> nice pack. I just keep waiting for like a, a an artifact in the the rare slot, and I'm like, oh, no. Well, it'd be Ugin, right? Oh yeah, the or colorless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so so Cast two instant or sorcery spells in a single turn. Oh yeah. I think so. You don't put the, the card. No. You, you just check all the boxes and say you do. Make sure you get what everybody does. Right. Right, yeah. 
You get a hug. So you usually wait till like your second or third round? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would probably wait till like, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, here we go. Seems okay. Not a ton of fixing. Well, guys, I had a lot of fun. It's uh, 504. And uh, I don't know how this is gonna, the quality of this is gonna be, but it's safer than holding a camera. Tempo is good. I think Just Guy is by far the most powerful plan you can choose. Mardu is pretty good. Um, if you can stabilize as Just Guy, you're just gonna win. I think you're gonna wanna err on the side of flyers and uh, any evasion that you can get. Um, there's some common like, you know, six mana or five mana for a two, two flyer that bounces something or becomes a three, three flyer. That card was the all-star in my deck. I went three and one, I could have went four and oh. It was a coin flip, the guy I lost to. He ended up going four and oh, so it was a great match. Um, and uh, I got six packs and that's okay, you know? Um, my plan right now is to go to the 12 o'clock one in eight hours. So I'm not gonna edit today's vlog. I'm gonna go straight to bed and then edit it on Saturday. Get it up Saturday night. Try to put two different pre-releases together for you and uh, hopefully you guys like the longer format. And uh, it'll still help you out for Sunday, and it'll allow me to get even more footage, more uh, Fate Reforged pack openings, and all sorts of stuff like that. So I think you're going to like this one better. Um, and, uh, well, I hope you do. I had a lot of fun, so we'll uh, check in tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go. Well... How about a horde chief? Horde chief. Show me potato salad. Oh. Flame rush rider. Yeah. <laughs> that's a son of a flame rush rider. Oh yeah, that seems legit. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Tapped and attacking. That's a copy of another target. Oh yeah, that seems legit. It's Oh yeah. All right. I'll take it back. I take back everything I said. Oh dash, yeah. For four, you know. Yeah, that seems good. That seems like a nice little come from nowhere kind of you're dead now card. And then all the come into play abilities if you copy something with that uh, trigger again. So. Oh yeah, that's also good. Okay. Oh, thank God, I got a Summit Prowler. <laughs> yeah, right. They get tokens, but, oh, that's, yeah. But you got Armament Core, that's pretty good. Right? Oh, yeah, 4 1. Oh, yeah, it doesn't resolve. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, yeah, RTFC, my friend. Oh, shoo, thank goodness, a Sultai, a Sultai rare. Good thing I didn't go Sultai. Alright, here we go. You know what? Not that great. I had a ton of, like, banner effects, and I just never was able to live the dream where I had, like, three of them out, and I had ran two of them, and you really don't want to be drawing that card, like, turn five. I'd probably still play it because it's prowess, but... Oh, that part, yeah, that part. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's nice, dude.
Oh, this card is legit. Somebody got me with an arc bond last night. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not a bad because it's not terrible in Mardu either because you know you're not blocking so you could it's kind of like a um, deflecting palm type effect as long as you're ahead on life. <coughs> Almost none. One guy. I'm actually pulling pretty good Jeskai cards, so I might, <laughs> might force it. Yeah, I got two of those so far. I'm thinking like one more. Is Master of the Unseen playable, do you think? Right, because you can pay to manifest. That seems okay. Probably not in a Mardu deck, but. <clears throat> oh yeah, right. I think so. Very. I mean, what other card draw options do you have? And this was my uncommon one pack. <laughs> oh, Marty Strike Later seems legit for this build. I'm happy to pull that. Oh, you totally did get it, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I like how calm and collected you are. That's a you know, that's probably like fifty dollar card right now, maybe more. Yeah, right. Yeah. I just throw it on the floor. I mean. <laughs> uh oh, are you are you going back to your? I'm not sure either. Cloud form is good. Oh, yay! That'll be nice. Yeah. Too bad I don't have any dragons to get to live the dream. <laughs> Your prize packs. I I ended up just going straight to bed because I was like, okay, well I I really wanted to come to noon today. I feel you. What's that? Oh, that's legit. Yeah. It's low though, for your deck. Couple of goblin heel cutter seems good. One or two of those on the board. Cast flame rush rider. Yeah, just win the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should be okay. I had a chief of the edge too. Oh, nice. So I copied him. Living the dream. Oh yeah, that is spicy. I didn't. I didn't even. I was thinking about the effects. Forgetting it. I mean. I really love having board wipes in Mardu decks. It just gives you a, a chance to kind of come at them again. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Don't, you know better than that. Don't run three of those on you, goofball. <laughs> you still need a creature on the battlefield that's bigger than theirs to make that good. Yeah, I mean, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, I got removal. Yeah, you do. And maybe Only play one pressure points. point. Yeah. 
You can always board it in if you have to. He's good. That's good. Wait, let's see. Just to get that turn five and then just sit there. Right, survive. Hooded assassins are all good. Wait, let me see that one again. Shamanic revelation. You might want to cut that just because you don't have a ton of dudes. I got twelve. That's not a ton. It's it's such a powerful effect. I get it. Oh, wait, what's that? Tough archetype. That's good too. Just make sure you hit your land. <laughs> yeah. And you gain 12 life. If you have fer ferocious. They probably will be for Abzan, yeah. This is not too bad. D two typhoid rats, or should I one typhoid rats and one Avon skirmisher? Typhoid rats are just good late game, though, too. The only reason these are going to matter is with banner effects, which I have a couple. And late game, they can kill something much, much bigger, I guess, yeah. It's pretty it's pretty spicy, right? A couple of War Flare. Yeah. Trumpet Blast and War Flare. One more would have been living the dream, but overall, that's pretty good. Two Typhoid Rats. Her name Aspirant Mardu Scout. <laughs> but this I'm actually not. Ponyback Brigade. Yeah. It's just another Dallas and Gloom. Orc Sure Shot. This is very good. A lot of synergy. He seems clumped. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just left my second pre-release. Hopefully the audio isn't all blown out on this. Uh, pretty good overall. I ran Mardu today, and um, I did really well. I uh, went undefeated to the finals and just split because that's the way the prize support shakes out. Um, Dash in and of itself is not great, I don't think. It's okay. But dash with other abilities like the ankle cutter and some of the other fun things that uh, you know you can do target creature can't block or this and that. Very very effective in the early game to just get right under and kill them. I think the two biggest winners in uh, this draft format are going to be um, Mardu and Jeskai almost certainly I want to give a nod to uh, Sultai I actually think Sultai got a little bit better too um, Teamer is fine it just it just I don't know it seems like all the best cards are like mythic and rare which is great and everything but when you're playing limited uncommons and commons are what win you the events most often um, bombs are great, but you've got to survive long enough to, to get them out. So, um, actually, uh, met a couple of friends, people that I've known at draft for a while, um, but I feel like I connected with them more now, and that's really cool. Um, and that's why you go to that's why you go to events like this, right? Uh, you go to meet people and make friends and play Magic, but. The social aspect of it is is much better, and I'm, I'm much more confident in my gameplay, and definitely starting to recognize people over and over again, and everyone that I've met is really cool. Uh, each time I meet a couple fans of the channel, which is always really awesome. Most importantly, uh, from what I learned in uh, Favor Fort Sealed, I think obviously flyers and evasion are, are really good. That's not groundbreaking. I think uh, drafting Jeskai is good, and there's enough good cards to support a couple people actually in Jeskai during the draft because of uh, two counts of Tarkir packs. But uh, Mardu is no slouch, and I'll tell you what, I've really seen the trend of people drafting these hyper aggressive decks on MTGO lately. So uh, 
there's stuff like War Flare, just excellent trick. Uh, I would honestly say in some token strategies in Standard, it, it might might get played. Uh, I think it's that good. 2 plus 1 and untapping is just excellent with all the token stuff flying around. It's in Just Guy Colors. Uh, it's an extra mana, but it's significantly better than something like Trumpet Blast. Uh, I don't know how that deck curves out and stuff, but there's a lot of really fun cards that I think... I think Blueback Control obviously gets a ton better now. Um, Obzon gets worse. Um, Just Guy gets better in Standard. Um, so definitely some some uh, fun facts learned. And I had a ton of fun. I went to two. You guys know I changed up the uh, vlog format now to just include both of my events. So you can actually see I aired on the side of two openings as opposed to random more like footage of me driving around listening to music <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys will like that because I actually opened up two pretty cool pulls or two cool pools too cool for pools and uh, I'm gonna get it edited up I've got dinner with the wife it's 5 30 um, I need to get home showered changed and back out by 5 40 16 minute uh, turnaround time here and uh, after dinner, I'll I'll record opening up my uh, favorite Forge packs and upload the vlog and the pack openings. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And of course, I got all five intro decks. So um, I'll be releasing that starting Monday, one every day. So stay tuned. Hope you guys had fun at your pre-release. Hope you guys, if you couldn't go, you had fun hanging out with me on mine. Talk to you again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.